Throughout my childhood, a lot of family and friends worked in the healthcare field. It was something I was always interested in as long as I can remember. My family would always call me Nurse Natalie as I was the first one to jump in to help as soon as somebody was injured. When I was in the eighth grade, my role as a nurse became much more accurate when my mom was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. I took on the part of her at-home nurse while she went through double mastectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation. We're doing good here in the chemo corral. In my junior year of high school, my mom was re-diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer, primarily affecting her bones. When we toured Worcester State for the first time, my mom was in such severe pain that she could barely walk. My dad just about carried my mom around the campus due to the excruciating pain she was in. I vividly remember my mom turning to my dad at one point and saying, you're going to have to take her on the rest of these college tours. I just can't do this. I chose to attend Worcester State for a variety of different reasons. They had excellent rankings when it came to their NCLEX pass rates. I could hop in the car and be able to be home in an hour if anything ever happened with my mom, and it was the best financial decision for me. I really struggled with the transition into college. My freshman year roommate went home every single weekend, which left me alone in the dorm rooms. I struggled to make friends in the beginning and spent most of my time alone. I was struggling both academically as well as socially. I had never really studied in high school, so learning how to study was one of my biggest tasks. I tried many different study techniques until I finally found one that was working for me. Freshman year, I learned that I needed a solid support system unless I would never make it through school. I made new friends who supported my efforts in school and were my rock throughout these last four years. We started in the labs, learning the basics of nursing, like taking vital signs, taking blood sugars, toileting patients, bathing patients, and just moving them around. My first two clinical rotations were at Fairlawn Rehab. Although Fairlawn had strict restrictions on what we could and could not do, like being able to move patients or ambulate them, I still had a great learning experience and was able to see a lot. Academically, school got much more difficult sophomore year as well. I struggled in pathology and pharmacology. I understood concepts and got the complete picture, but I struggled with memorization, which is a lot of what pharmacology is. Sophomore year, I got my first job in a hospital as a patient transporter. It was my first experience getting to know the ins and outs of a hospital. As a transporter at the hospital I worked at, I was responsible for getting patients ready for transport and ambulating them to the stretchers. I also was responsible for transporting patients who had passed away to the morgue. Junior year is really tough academically due to the fast pace, but transitioning online due to COVID made it even more challenging. When COVID hit, I did not have an option but to do school from home. Finding a balance between relaxation and schoolwork has proven to be quite tricky when at home 24 seven. The summer before senior year started, I got my first job as a PCT at Beth Israel in Boston. I work on an oncology floor helping to provide comfort and care to patients as they fight cancer. Nursing school was nothing like what I expected it to be. It was harder than I ever thought, but if I had to do it again in order to care for patients like my mom, I would do it again in a heartbeat. If you had asked me when I toured Worcester State if I thought my mom would be there to pin me, I honestly would have told you no. Without having such a great team of nurses caring for her, she never would have been here for this special day. My mom's been my biggest supporter throughout all of school, and I would not have made it through without her. I want to be a nurse so I can help others have special moments like this.